plaintiff, Mudiat Mustafa, met the defendant in high school, and she claims they were good friends until the defendant chose her boyfriend over their friendship. Mudiat says the defendant was living a destructive lifestyle and skipping school, and Mudiat's suing her today for failing to pay a cell phone bill. Defendant Jasmine Dilworth says she and Mudiat were best friends for four years. But after high school, Mudiat started turning Jasmine's friends against her. Jasmine denies owing Mudiat because she was under 18, and she never said she'd pay the bill. Start with you. Um, basically, me and Jasmine, we went to school together, and we was best friends till, you know, sophomore year. Then junior year came, that's when she changed. She basically picked a boy over everybody. She would, you know, leave us behind, go to hotels, do different stuff, and she basically wouldn't act like a Catholic school girl. We both went to a Catholic school, and she... You all had a problem with her spending more time with her boyfriend than the friends? Not that, it was just that, you know, you, it's like, you have to have time for, you know, your friends, and you have to have time no, for... No, you don't. <laughs> when me and my wife were dating in college, and my friends wanted to hang out with me, I ain't had to have no time for them. In fact, I didn't. All I had time for was school and my woman. But, I mean, if, if, um, if I've been there for you, you know, before he even came, like, I feel like, you know, I should be put first before anybody or before, you know, her boyfriend. When but, does that end? When did that end? Yeah, like when she's married, should you still be put first? No, because she's going to be married. I mean, I'm going to have my own husband. She's going to have How about her own. when they're engaged? No. How about before he proposes? No. I mean, like, I feel like... <laughs> you get my point, like... man. I hope you get my point, young lady. Yeah, I get your point. It's up to her when she wants to <laughs> determine that her man is a priority in her life. Right. All right, that's my point. When she says, well, friends, I got a man, and between school and after-school activities and the hotel activities, <laughs> I, I got to put him ahead of y'all. I don't have any more time for you all. I can understand how that would upset you. But what else went on with your relationship? We fell out when she, like, stop coming to school and, you know, she would, you know, go to hotels. That's and... not true. What did you all say to her? Like, I'll try to help her. Like, we had multiple talks, me and my best friend here, okay. had multiple talks with her, trying to, you know, get her on the right track. Good. Because we did go to Catholic school and we did spend $9,000 a year, you know, at that school. We? Yeah. Her, oh, okay. Where did you get your money? <laughs> my parents. <laughs> <laughs> my parents. Okay, your parents spent $9,000 yeah. a year. All right, you all are good friends then. Good. All right, young lady, let me hear some background from you. Well, as Mudia said, we were best friends for four years. Well, she said since sophomore year, but we were best friends for four years during high school. Actually, we stopped really talking after high school was over. And as I look back at it, I think that she was only friends with me for her own personal, you know, um, enhancements. You know, we went to all girl Catholic school. So it was a lot, uh, like a lot of drama around there, not just between us friends, but as in girls around the school. And I was the, you know, the type of girl that's not too many people want to, you know, start any mess with or whatever. So, like, we kind of, she kind of stuck to me. You were security, exactly, <laughs> yeah. for the most part. The muscle. Yeah, she had you as the muscle, right, okay. <laughs> Wasn't sincere friendship, she wanted you for muscle, using you. Go ahead. Yeah, and I didn't notice that until after we, um, actually graduated high school and all of a sudden she started turning my friends against me and that, how that was... so do you know how what she was saying now actually i don't know specifically what was said but i know that all of a sudden like were we you just... living the type of lifestyle that she alleged destructive um, lifestyle skipping class skipping school going to hotels with guys no it was partially true at that time i was um i had my own personal issues going on at my home my point is that if you were living a destructive lifestyle then the other students shouldn't hang out with you. No, I... They did right by dropping you actually that's not all correct because when 
first of all, they, uh, as my friends, those two women over there, they actually wasn't there for me during that time. They never so tried to discourage they, you from any of the they, things they you They never doing? tried to, uh, you know, enhance me, like... No, no. I, they never said, girl, you shouldn't be doing that. No, no. Never? No. Um, all right. So, Did they ever do any of that? Um, yeah. Okay. We were all friends, so we... They did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Probably not to the extent, like, as far as missing school, because uh -huh. I was going through my own personal issues, mm -hmm. so then that's where okay. it separated. But actually, we were all best friends, so we kind of sort of did the same thing. Okay. Let's get to the uh, breach of contract and the punitive damages you're suing her for. Okay, so basically, um, I got her phone, so... When? Um, junior year. So two, year, so two years ago, basically. Junior year. Yeah. Okay. Junior so, year. Two years ago, I gave her a phone, um, basically to get in contact with everybody. What was the agreement? That she'll pay the bill every month. Okay. And um, basically, she didn't pay the bill every month, so that's why we're here today. You have the um, collections notice, or did you pay it? No, I didn't. What are the punitive damages for? Um, basically, like, I can't, my credit is gone, like, into collection, so basically I can't buy a car, I can't do anything in the future until, you know, this is figured out. Okay. So. Punitive damages, the act has to be malicious and willful, meaning that she did it on purpose and, and to hurt you. I don't, I don't feel like she tried to hurt okay, me. Okay, well, then that's what you must prove to get punitive damages. Ma'am, your uh, defense against paying the bill uh, from two years ago. I never agreed to pay the bill. As she said, we were in June. Uh, I was a junior, so Who I was Who did you expect to pay it? It was a third party actually involved in this, and... Who was going to pay it? Who was going to pay the and bill. And who was that? And it was um, this guy that um, I met through me. He was actually my, tat my tattoo artist. he spoke with her and told yes. her he would pay it? Yes. He spoke right. with her, and they actually had an agreement within themselves that she was going to receive free piercings and a free tattoo for doing this. Um, that's did another not... person agree to pay for this? They were both going to pay for the phone. Okay, so he did agree to pay. For yeah, it. but she was the one who was supposed to pay me as, you know, I'm going to pay the bill on time, I'm going to do this. He was just her boyfriend. He was just saying, okay, if... He was just saying, if you're not going to, you know, if you can't pay the bill on time, I will give you money. My boyfriend right here was present at the time mm -hmm. when we both went to Sprint. And okay. he can... All right, she's essentially saying that your boyfriend was uh, co-signing, if you will. Well, actually, I was... We were in junior year, and mm -hmm. I was under 18, and I did not have a job, so I don't, e she, I don't even know how she even fathomed that I said I would pay for the bill. And she found that law. <laughs> <laughs> Can't enforce a contract with a, uh, that you've signed with a minor. She was a minor when you made that agreement with her. Uh, so I can't grant you a judgment. She was a minor. Anybody that makes an agreement with a minor, it is unenforceable. Claim dismissed. Have a good day. I mean, she clearly lied about everything, so, I mean, our friendship is done. I really don't have nothing to say to her. So, I mean, well, I didn't lie. And if she wants the friendship to be done, I can't make anybody be friends with me, so...